quatre raisons majeures qui font que les femmes sont célibataires et euh, ça va s'empirer. Ça ira pas en s'arrangeant. Et ça, c'est pas moi qui le dis, c'est les stats. Donc ça, les gars, c'est une petite vidéo que vous pourrez regarder en couple. Voilà, tu dis à ta meuf, ouais, viens voir. Non, mais viens voir, il faut qu'on se détende un peu, on va regarder une vidéo ensemble. Voilà, comme ça, ça lui mettra un petit peu la pression qu'elle se comprenne que le marché du célibat, c'est pas la fête. Contrairement à ce que ses copines célibataires essaient de lui faire croire. Hein? Alors évidemment, tu commences la vidéo, après tu dis ça. Tu dis non, mais si mettre commence à partir de ce moment-là, euh, avant ce qu'il dit, euh, c'est pas important. Euh, voilà. Ok Donc Comme ça, là, tu commences maintenant. Voilà. Donc euh, avant de commencer la vidéo, euh, je te rappelle que tu as mon étude de cas où je te montre exactement comment j'ai fait 20 000 euros en une semaine. C'est gratuit, c'est offert avant de créer l'arnaque. Regarde quand même. Hein? Ou sinon, tu peux accéder à des idées business personnalisées. Eh ben, on fait les choses bien. Personnalisées à ta personnalité. Okay, tu auras juste un petit formulaire à remplir, ton expérience, tes passions, que, quelles sont exactement tes qualités. Bon, tu auras des petites questions et après on te voit un email et on te donnera exactement les conseils personnalisés à ta personne. Okay? Des idées à ta personne. Voilà. Parce que c'est bien d'avoir des idées business, mais euh, bon, c'est mieux quand même quand ça correspond à toi, qui est plus de probabilité de réussite. Ça n'est pas compris, Gérard. Donc, première raison majeure. Euh, qui font qu'elles sont célibataires et que ça ne euh, pas s'arranger, c'est qu'elles n'ont aucune notion du marché du célibat. Pour elles, il n'y a pas de marché du célibat. Elles sont là, euh, voilà, il n'y a, a pas de marché du célibat, il euh, n'y a pas d'offres et de demandes, il n'y a pas euh, genre euh, des hommes qui recherchent certaines choses chez les femmes et des femmes qui recherchent certaines choses chez les hommes. Ça, pas. Ça, enfin, si, le côté genre, nous, on sait ce qu'on veut. Oui, moi, je veux un gars comme ci, je veux un gars comme ça, je veux un gars comme ci, un gars comme ça. Mais par contre, elle ne se pose jamais la question de qu'est-ce que l'homme, il recherche. Ça, ça ne l'intéresse pas pour elle. Ça, 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 de toute façon, ça ne lui traverse même pas l'esprit. Regarde ça. Yeah, I'm about to go out and you know it's Saturday night. I'm feeling sexy. I'm feeling like I look good. My hair is freshly washed and pressed. But you ain't gonna believe this. Wait, wait, wait. You're not really finna believe this. Ain't nobody finna talk to me. I mean, like, not one man is going to step to me and say, what's good, ma? Like, not one man, not one man is going to have the goal to come push up on me and offer to buy me a drink. And you see, I don't understand why I be getting so fine, because who am I doing it for? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not doing it because I got a husband at home and I want him to think I look sexy, okay? So if you see me out and, you know, you feel like you're a good candidate for me, you know, like, and I would feel like you're a good candidate for me also, Holler at me. Otherwise, I'm going to go home by myself again tonight. <laughs> But I'm going to wake up single tomorrow again. <laughs> Damn. Damn. The men say, yo, we want this. You can't just keep saying, nah, nah. It don't matter what, what y'all want. I'm still a good woman. Good to who? You have to be good to the consumer. They got to buy what you selling. Amen. If ain't nobody yeah. buying what you selling, then what? Think about it. When you go to a job interview, right? You don't come in there saying, I do marketing great. They're like, but ma'am, this is an, an accounting position. <laughs> I honestly feel like women, we are the worst when it comes to this. We are. Because dudes are telling us every day, physique is a big thing to them. But we like, oh, but I'm smart and I got a business. No one gives a... Deuxième raison, c'est les, les indépendantes, les, les boss là, les boss, les indépendantes. Déjà, j'ai envie de te dire, dès que tu dis indépendante, ça veut dire que tu n'as pas besoin de moi, donc euh, débrouille-toi si tu es indépendant. Voilà, c'est ça, ouais, j'ai pas besoin d'homme, j'ai pas besoin d'homme. Et en plus de ça, elle veut faire les boss, je gagne beaucoup d'argent, etc. Mais ce qu'elle ne se rend pas compte, c'est que plus tu gagnes de l'argent, vu que les femmes de nature, elles sont hyper gammes, elles vont vouloir quelqu'un qui est à leur niveau minimum ou au-dessus. Hopeless romantics. A new study compares college-educated black women to white female counterparts. That research shows black women are 53% less, less likely to marry another educated black man with a degree. You have gone on to college and developed your career, your business, and like, I want to be in a relationship. We're still not taught about men. We're, we still don't understand. I believe that 99.9% of women Single women do not understand men. Because usually people meet in college. That's that's almost the narrative we were fed. Go to college, find you a good man. And that narrative now, it really is being questioned. So there's a lot for us to unpack when it comes to dating, marriage for black women who are educated. I think your education will be a good selling point to, for the man that you end up with, like to marry and stuff like that. Why wouldn't it be? You've got a highly educated woman as a wife. Statistically. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The fact of the matter is, do you think men really care about where you went to school, what you went to school for? I think so. Yes, they do. I think. Really? Like, I think How like, many men have said that to you? Not really. Really? You don't think you want to... How many men have said that to you? Okay. 
Okay. You know when women, the, <laughs> the higher IQ a woman has, the less likely she is to get married. That's by statistics. Damn, well, sorry, I'm not dumb. And feel emasculated because we have come a long way. A lot of us make more money than men and that blows y'all egos real bad. We don't care about your pockets because we all know that if I'm making money, my money is your money and your money is your money. So it's like, it doesn't really matter to us because men have a burden of performance to perform, meaning that we have to provide for a woman and we have to provide security to that woman. If not, we know it's a time clock ticking where she's going to lose attraction for us and she's going to kick us to the curb. There's two types of men. There's two types of men that has the drive, ambition, and that's a leader and that's a go-getter and that's going to make something of himself and that can provide you a future. And there's the other that's lazy. So what I'm saying is that you're just choosing the lazy name and you're seeing that laziness in him but you're converting that to him being insecure and you emasculating him from all of your drive he's not emasculated he's just a lazy broke you feel what i'm saying mm -hmm. most men are not looking for a woman to provide for him which is why the job doesn't mean much for him because most guys think about it like i want to work as if the bills depend upon me and the family depends upon me. He's not thinking, oh, we're teammates. We put the money together and all that stuff. No, he thinks about I'm ambitious. I'm driven. I want the buck to stop at me. Troisième raison, trop materialiste. Je sais que ça doit être à cause d'Internet, à cause d'Instagram, je pense. La faute à Instagram. On sait pas, mais en tout cas, euh, trop materialiste. And when the woman starts looking for substance over materials, then she'll find a man that's actually going to be worth it. But when she's leading with her eyes by what he has, what he can provide, and what is he actually doing from a gesture standpoint, she's never going to know who he really is at his core. So then that's why they get bamboozled. Some men can put up that act for a long time. Being with somebody that make you happy, that treat you special, and you can do the same. All I'm starting, not all, that's too general. I'm hearing a lot of how much money is involved. I'm hearing a lot of what's your stuff what you bring into the table you hearing people say that a woman don't have to bring nothing to the table these young boys today what do she bring to the table the hell you mean man what do your ass bring to the table you got a woman that can come to the table that can make another you what and it don't have to be about the money but wouldn't it be nice if she brought a good attitude wouldn't it be nice if she brought a nurturing uh, 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 disposition about herself? Wouldn't it be nice if she could make a goddamn cake from scratch? Wouldn't it be nice if you woke up Sunday morning and the house was filled up with Sunday dinner smells? Wouldn't it be nice we are not talking about that no more? We talking about how much money. And that is what I believe is just tearing our community down. A man should always make a way. I feel like I'm not going to work my hands to the to the bones to provide. I'm not going to work 16 to 20 hours a day or a week to provide for my family. You're the man. You have the penis. Go get a job. Get three jobs. My man has two jobs. Go get seven jobs and two side hustles to buy me the things that I want because I'm a woman. Et quatrième raison, c'est qu'elles sont trop masculines. Et pour elles, c'est normal. Alors, ouais, on leur a tellement menti, le féminisme. Oui, on est égaux, euh, soit des hommes, euh, on peut, interchangeable. Tu peux faire la même chose qu'un homme veut, tu dois agir comme lui, euh, soit une kaira. Euh, ça, ça. Là, on est bon. I was a horrible mother. I was a great father. <laughs> And I was a horrible mother mm. because I had never been mother. So I didn't know how to affirm, how to nurture how to nourish, how to um, guide. I knew how to direct, how to demand, how to discipline, and like you said, provide and protect. Those are masculine energy. And the, the distinction here is men build, women create. So we know how to hmm. build. We know how to get to the external and get the work done and drive and push and do it, do it, do it. We don't know how to be still, create it, and allow it to come to us. They did a qualitative study where they actually ask black men why do they believe that black women are the least desired group of women the least likely to be married and the least likely to be remarried and the very first answer the black men said it's black women's attitudes the masculinity the emasculation the the, the being stubborn being difficult being combative no desire to be interdependent or submissive
or cooperative or friendly or sweet. So, so they're talking about character flaws within black women as a community that they see that is so prevalent that it's generalizable. Oh, and we can see it in everyday life as well. So when you factor that into the equation, you see why it becomes even more difficult for a black man to choose to marry a black woman. If I'm too masculine around you, it's simply because I'm not for you. You're not the man for me and I'm not the woman for you because women naturally submit to men that they feel safe and comfortable around. Baby, the math is not math. And I have said this once and I will say it again, no man wants no aggressive ass woman. If you're upset about something and you know you're talking with, with a little bit more aggression in your voice, a little bit more passion in your voice, okay. But when you just over the top aggressive, don't, don't nobody wanna deal with that. And no man wants a woman with all this aggression and masculine ass energy. And I've never understood why so many women don't understand that. Because let you detect any type of feminine energy in a man. Y'all will drag him through the mud. Hell, men can't even eat certain foods or drink certain drinks at a restaurant without y'all trying to say he's feminine. But you want him to deal with that aggressive ass masculine personality that you got. Donc voilà les quatre raisons majeures qui font que les femmes euh, sont célibataires et ça n'ira pas en s'arrangeant. Ok, dis-moi ce que tu en penses euh, en commentaire. Mets un petit j'aime si t'as aimé la vidéo. J'aime pas si tu n'as pas euh, aimé. Si jamais tu vas aller plus loin avec moi, je te rappelle que tu as Zion, okay, le groupe des 10% où je te partage toutes les stratégies pour atteindre au minimum les 5000 euros par mois, plus tu as accès à toutes mes, toutes mes formations. C'est du lourd. Regarde en description, je te décris exactement les détails, qu'est-ce qui se passe, comment on s'organise. Okay, donc les gars, on lâche rien et on reste déterminés. Il y a eux et à nous. Je suis allé ton camp.